Welcome to the okay. recording. I nice. am. So beautiful Sabrina. Tell me about how you became a mind stylist from being a hairstylist. Do you want to? Oh, yeah. About you? Yeah. So I was a hairstylist for 34 years, a long time. Loved it. Loved helping people feel good about the way they look. That was always a real joy for me to do that for people. And I always in my life was also that person who helped people with their issues, things they have going on. I just was that person. People just came to me, even in high school. That was always the way it was. So I always wanted to be a counselor too. That's something that was always in my heart. Did a lot of um, helping people while I was doing hair behind the chair, but Uh I had the opportunity to go back to school and become a life coach in 2020 during COVID when I couldn't work yes. in the salon. So I took advantage of that time and went to school. And when then... everyone was cutting their own hair at home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I was becoming a life coach yeah. <laughs> and then did that. And then went into hypnotherapy work, which is amazing. Yeah. love all that and started working, um, really diving into learning about the subconscious mind and yes. how that affects our lives and our subconscious running the show 95% of the time. It's just so fascinating. So yeah, being able to, yeah, the help, the way it's helped me by going to that place in my life, the subconscious, what formed that belief, where did it come from and dismantling it, bringing in better beliefs is so much fun. So much That's fun. how I yeah. became a my stylist and I love it. <laughs> oh, and people's lives get to be Restyled. Now I get it. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. It's like, oh gosh, I spent 34 years helping people feel good about the way they look on the outside. Now I get to help people feel oh. good about the way they feel on the inside for the next 34 years. <laughs> and glow. Yeah. And exactly. glow, you know, from the inside yeah. out. Yeah. You know, it's it. amazing because, you know, I, you can help, I, you know, as a stylist, you know, you, I could make somebody's hair just look amazing and then feel so good about their hair or how they look. But I would see so many still didn't see their true beauty, you know? Yeah. Oh, right. I was conscious of my hair when I talked to you. I'm like, do no, you think my cute. hair is okay? So funny. <laughs> it's oh my God, funny. I blow dry uh, Your hair's myself. gorgeous always. Mess. I don't know. <laughs> I love your hair. <laughs> I cut my own hair. I'm one of those. So, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. My girls are all twirlers. They twirl their hair like this. I used to, yeah. but I broke that habit. <laughs> oh, good. It's back, right? <laughs> and then, okay. So then, um, and then you were like, tell me about the transitioning from your own business as a hairstylist to like doing your life coaching, your therapy business, mm-hmm. and then how I maybe came in and. Like, why, yeah. why did you feel guided? Like, what was about working with me that felt yeah. what you needed? Yeah. Right. Um, okay, so I was still, it, the transition was very, the word came into my mind, brutal. <laughs> so yeah. Being in such unfamiliar territory and I had so many limiting beliefs around my own um, ability to learn, retain information, smart from school, young school, childhood beliefs being formed about myself then stupid. And so I had been doing work already around all of that, um, but still just feeling like I'm there's just, I'm still lost and in a fog and trying to find the right mentor, the right person to help me. And I had been through many and Mm -hmm. I went, um, I found, I saw you see, I went to, um, the RTT alumni. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and asked, you know, about some help, or maybe I looked through some some other conversations, but yeah. someone had mentioned you. And so I went yeah. and looked you up on Facebook and I was like, oh my gosh, yes. I loved the fact, the things that you worked on it. I started with divine life, I believe. Yeah. That was mm-hmm. 
when I started working with you on divine life. And I just, it just resonated with me. The things you were saying, like, this is what I need to do. I need to dig into this. Yes. And then I also saw, um, I had been working with Cindy Schulson and doing, uh, helping me like find my niche. And, uh, and I still hadn't really, I still hadn't really felt like clarity on that yet. But anyways, I was like, Oh, you guys were friends somehow. And that just that little connection was like, Oh, you know, just kind of another connect. And so I, yeah, it was really, um, just, I just knew, I just knew you were going to be able to help me. Yes. Yeah. And all these months later, I don't know, a couple months later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's been, yeah. Yeah. It's been really, oh my goodness, the things that I've learned from you, I has, has changed me. I've been able to um, really step into and embrace and feel, experience true feelings of the control safety and approval from God like in a way that's just like and I've had a lifelong spiritual yeah relationship with God right and very um close but just had a lot of I think also wounds from other messages right which has been really beautiful too, that you've helped me heal from in the work that you're doing with us, with me and the group, the sisterhood I love. Uh, So there was some more. Oh, and also the tools that I'm learning, I'm able to take to my clients. Yes. And I've used them with them and it's just been wonderful in sessions and Yeah. yeah. And the other thing, you really helped me with was um, my RTT session, mm-hmm. the RTT session that we had together. It was just so awesome. Like I, I didn't even know that's what for sure what we were going to do that day when I met right. with you. Our, right. And we just like flew, flowed right into an RTT session. It was like, this is so easy. <laughs> so I just, it was so like um, monumental to me each session was prior yeah. to that experience and then translating it to it can be this easy for you to as an RTT therapist to just yes. go into your session. So I like example, my last client that I ha- took on for a second um three months. Oh nice. Congrats. Yeah. We she didn't get her paperwork filled out prior to her time for us to meet. And it was her RTT session. Like previously I'd have been like, break it out. Like, you know, but right. I didn't, I'm like, it's fine. Just I'll get it. You know, we'll just do yeah. the normal, you know? Yeah. I'll just talk to her, find out where she's at, what she's, I kind of already had an idea of what she needed, but um, it just was way less like, I don't want to say structured because there's structure to it, but it wasn't. Yeah. yeah it, it was a no big deal. Easy. <gasps> Right. You trusted yourself. <laughs> yeah. So do you feel more intuitive with the divine, divine woman, divine life, divine yes. business? You did all three. Yep. Yep. Yes. Very much more intuitive. I feel more safe with trusting my intuition yeah. and knowing that um, it doesn't feel blocked. Mm. It feels open. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I see like where you're just more solid in your trust of who you are. There's less of these archetypes in you who used to say you don't know anything. You're not mm-hmm. going to make it. What's the point? The learned helplessness was there a lot more, right? Because yes. it comes back. Yes. Big time. When you mm-hmm. step into a new journey, that can come back. Yeah. 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 So good. Helped yeah. me a lot. Yeah. And then I love the support of the ping pong group. Because, yeah. you know, it's like that daily you're getting the help. The, like, At first, yeah. when I first started, I was afraid to jump in because I didn't know quite how to do it, you right. know, and, you know, but I just 
did. And I still even was learning, but kept doing it, kept jumping in, kept doing more. And so now again, that's easy too. And it's so nice to have that every day. Oh my God. Every day. That support is incredible. Yeah. 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 So, oh yeah. Three adjectives to describe working with me or more, three or more. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fun. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> expansive. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, empowering. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And joyful. It's very joyful. You, you have such a joy. Light. It's light and yeah. easy. Yeah. Oh yeah, it we doesn't do business feel like light a lot. Easy. It feels yeah. just like yeah, flowing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's big, you know. Big stuff is happening, and big shifts are happening. But it doesn't feel like work. Yeah, <laughs> doing it. So I agree. Great. Yeah, and like that. Sometimes when we do that energy work with the light, and then also with when you start to work on your jinkies and you just, you know, human design jinkies, you start to see what yeah. energy is yeah. available to you. So that's awesome. Yes. 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 And then my and last then... question is like, why would you recommend like either working with me or doing the lemon sisterhood, ping pong sisterhood? Like, why would you recommend it? That's why it. would I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would recommend working with you because of your flow. Yes. It's easy. That's what mm-hmm. we talked about. It's easy. It, it There's a lot that you offer. Yeah. I mean, you give us so much to dive into and at our own free will, like we can dive in, you know, yeah. where we want to in all that you've created, which is incredible. The support from you and also the sisterhood that you have created. Yeah. And the growth that I see in myself Mm. is amazing. And I know, and I see it with the other um, gals in the group too. So I would recommend it because the results are real and they feel solid and they also feel lasting. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You can take this. And just also as a therapist or coach, um, the things that, that we learn from you are so translatable to our clients too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I love Mm -hmm. it when I hear that my clients, clients are getting results from the tools because it's like, I get results. That's awesome. But like you guys get results and then your clients. So that's, that's when, you know, yes. The ripple. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you know it's real, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. And I've always wanted to go off script with RTT. You know, I've, I used to write my scripts before sessions and that was always, you know, two hour deal before, you know, and, and it it would still be, you know, I'd really trust my intuition and in it. And oftentimes my script was right on even with the session, but the pre going into it was just a lot of time. And so I think the work that we've done together has given me the confidence, the trust. Yeah. The feeling of safety, yes, approval, all of those to be able to just do that easily. I don't stress yeah. about it anymore. It's like, oh, you're gonna totally know. You know, you're gonna. Have, oh, you're gonna I love it. That's yeah. my, that's it such has. a great compliment you're giving me because mm-hmm. it's like my heart just was like, oh, for you to mm-hmm. trust yourself and life. That's what it's all about. You're not like in your head trying to control it. And yep. it's funny, Christina was saying how you know. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had to sneeze Bless on that you. one energy is yep. flowing. <laughs> Christina was traveling and she didn't, she didn't have all her notes. And she's like, Oh, I just winged it. And the session was amazing. And they loved it. I'm like, yeah, it's better than when you're trying to plan everything. You know, exactly. So. Oh, it feels so good too. Yeah. Because you really can be immersed in the moment. Mm-hmm. There. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. and yeah. you're so intuitive because you're not thinking yeah. about your notes and right. Oh, yeah, I'm going to mess saying everything perfectly. And yes. Yeah. Yeah. That makes you yeah. a much better oh. therapist. I thank you for that. I give oh. you the 
thank you for oh, helping you with this. Well, I can't have a sisterhood without all of you in it. So <laughs> it's perfect. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like we're only halfway towards how much you are going to get or like create. Totally agree. I mean, totally. we're there like the halfway. And what I love that you said, the halfway solid. It's not like, oh, I, I manifested this once and then I don't know how to do it again. It's like a solid. Yeah. This is Life. my minimum, you know, like Eva. Yeah. It's a mm -hmm. lifestyle. And Eva was saying like, she really heard me because she got her 2,500 as a minimum. She goes, this is the minimum. Mm -hmm. And then she got another 2,500 like the next week. Right. So she gets right. how you get, it's in your energy field. You decide yeah. what yeah. you're calling in yeah. and then we yeah. ping pong to get rid of all the blocks and the energy yep. that's there. Yeah. And the blocks are just so fascinating. They yeah. come up to, oh my God. <laughs> Those archetypes, like, I don't want you to have money with these because then, right. then you're not worthy of it. You're like, who, wait, is this 1920? What is this? Like, grandma? <laughs> like, what is, is this World War II? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So good. And, you upgrade. Those. And it's interesting because I was thinking this morning when I was ping ponging with Eva or with uh, Sarita. Yeah. Oh, Sarita. Sarita. Mm -hmm. I was like, she's just like, Doing this is so important because speaking those resistances that are yeah. there yeah. and you're not giving them your, your full attention, but you're feeling them and letting them take over, but then to force them to have a voice. Yes. And then you, you give the voice and then you work through it. It's like, so silly. <laughs> yeah. It's silly how easy it is. You mean like how it's silly. The voice is so silly. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh yeah. You know, like, not always. Sometimes it's right. heavy and it's a lot, but you know, yeah. This Sometimes morning it, it was is like silly. such a silly, you know, it's like, yeah. oh my gosh, how did that silly voice have so much power over me? 98%. And you didn't know it was there. So that's why I say when you name it, you heal it. Cause you're like, oh, right. that's the little girl that's learned helplessness. So that's the hustler. And yeah. yeah, I remember this moment I was washing my hands and I was like feeling this anger bolt like boiling me because my son wasn't doing his homework when I was telling him to do it, you know, and I yeah. heard this voice say he needs to do his homework. And I was able to have a split moment of complete calmness and go, he does. And I was able to question the mean, oh, this does. the mean it. ruler, you know, and I go, he does. Yep. And then the ruler was like, well, well, I, maybe, I don't know. Does he, does she, he should like. He like Isn't my archetype. To be? Yeah, I was baffled that I saw it, like that I called it out. Right, that you questioned it. Yeah. Awesome. And ever since then, I'm like, homework is easy because it used to be like, yeah, because he's rebel would like bite me, and this yep. was a couple years ago, and now we're like, yeah, let's do homework, and we do it together, but it's soft. It's, it's not mm -hmm. like. I mean, I remember this moment I questioned because I usually would listen and believe the voice. He needs to do his homework. Right. And I thought it was me thinking. Yes, this it wisdom. I mean, who was me thinking? It was this ruler. Yep. yep. Anyway. Ah, oh, so cool. Question. Love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Well, the magic is going to continue and compound. And yay. oh, yes. So yes, fun. yes, yes. I'm Can't excited wait. to keep going for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for hanging out. Um, yes, you're welcome.